Hello and welcome to the Thursday, October 12, 2023 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Well, today, as usual, is a little bit a Patch Tuesday cleanup episode. Uh, let's start out uh, with a new exploits. Uh, Microsoft stated in Atlassian has confirmed active exploitation of CVE 2023-22515. This vulnerability, which was patched about a week ago, is apparently already actively being exploited it does allow an attacker to add an arbitrary administrative account to atlassian's uh, confluence data center and a server i've seen an exploit post on twitter uh, no idea if it's actually uh, correct but looks plausible given that it fit in a tweet and uh, can be run with a simple curl command it's a pretty trivial exploit so i hope it's a little bit more complicated than that uh, but uh, definitely uh, the exploit is out and available and uh, being used and yes we did get an update to curl today fixing a security vulnerability however the security vulnerability didn't turn out to be all that big of a deal now, it is a heap-based buffer overflow, which of course means that there is a potential for code execution. But in order to actually trigger the vulnerability, an attacker has to be able to feed an oversized URL to curl that is then using a SOX5 proxy. Given that most uh, curl uh, instances do not connect to a SOX5 proxy and that you definitely should probably verify that you have a valid host name before you just pass a URL to curl. The exploitation is likely limited to a very limited number of sort of edge cases. So nothing to worry about too much. Definitely update it, but nothing that you have to expedite in any way. I've seen patches trickle out uh, for various uh, Linux distributions earlier today, but this does not just affect Linux, may also affect, for example, uh, Windows. So expect more patches uh, for this in the next few days and weeks. And CISA added five new vulnerabilities to its known exploited vulnerabilities catalog. The one that uh, I don't think we have fully uh, talked about here yet is an Adobe Acrobat and Reader vulnerability that's already being exploited. Three of the vulnerabilities are the ones we talked about yesterday with uh, Microsoft. There's also a Cisco iOS and iOS XE vulnerability that is a VPN out of bounds write vulnerability. Not 100% sure if I covered it, but yep, uh, it's exploited as well. So prioritize patching. And if you're like me, hoping that pass keys will soon take off, uh, one more sign of optimism here. Google now makes pass keys the default if you're signing up for a new personal account. They're still holding back a little bit on sort of business accounts. So this only affects personal accounts. If you need uh, some uh, more data to convince the boss to implement pass keys, well, according to Google, it makes sign up 40% faster. So uh, less friction during sign up may mean actually more sign ups. And Microsoft published a list of features that will be removed from future versions of Windows, in particular the Windows client. Most notable here, VB Script. VB Script was really sort of more an Internet Explorer feature with Internet Explorer being gone. VB Script just uh, makes sense uh, to remove it as well. It will be available as an additional download and install for anybody who insists in executing ransomware scripts. WordPad, which actually was just uh, patched, uh, is also interestingly no longer being updated and will be removed in future versions. Its functionality will be merged into Notepad, so Notepad will get some sort of rich text editing uh, features. Well, and that's it for today. Just as a reminder, this Saturday, I will be speaking here at B-Sides in Jacksonville. So if you happen to reside in Jacksonville or close by, take a look at the B-Sides website and sign up. 
think my talk will be around uh, 11, if I remember correctly. Uh, but uh, please double check uh, with uh, the schedule. I'm uh, not really that sure if it was 10 or 11 when the talk starts. Well, lots of other stuff around there. So show up early and uh, participate b-sides always a great thing and if you're not in jacksonville well uh, take a look uh, where your local b-sides is and when it will happen thanks for listening and well uh, talk to you again tomorrow bye